Hey guys, what is going on? This is Shaylin from Old Coin Buzz here to report the news for today. And as you can see by the headline here, once again, another celebrity is in the news once again. So we can see that Wu-Tan Clan's rapper son to launch a cryptocurrency. So if you guys don't know who this is, the late hip-hop artist known as part of the Wu-Tan Clan passed away in 2014 and his son now is launching a cryptocurrency. So his name is Young Duddy and his real name is Basan James and he's approximately named Duddy Coined. Well, that's what this thing is going to be called. A cryptocurrency being produced in partnership between the estate of All Dirty and Link Media Partners. So really interested to see how this is going to be positioned and what exactly this is going to do. As you can see, this is a big celebrity with a lot of following behind them and tons of money, I assume. So we'll be interested to see how this follows through and whether or not this coin will actually have any application. Speaking about people who are doing some big things, BMW is working with another blockchain firm, this time to track its Cobalt, according to a report. So I think a week ago we, we saw that how it had a partnership with VeChain, and now we can see that the German car manufacturer known as BMW has closed a second partnership with a blockchain startup, this time to source ethical Cobalt for its products, according to reports on March the 5th, citing the startup's CEO. So just a week ago, as I mentioned just earlier, you know, they had a partnership with VeChain. The CEO of little-known UK-based startup known as Circular told recruiters that they are collaborating with BMW so track so keen, uh, sorry, to track so keen clean cobalt suppliers in order to ensure ethical providence. So always good to see this new partnership, especially from a new startup. Always good to see them on the scene. I'm really interested to see who else BMW is going to sign up with in 2018 but it certainly looks like they have a big year ahead i mean already v chain or v chain thor i should say and now we have this new startup who's going to be next so what else is it also in the news well cambodia expected to follow venezuela with plans of national cryptocurrency so we saw how venezuela has actually launched its national cryptocurrency and had a lot of success however a lot of people were talking about venezuela's cryptocurrency and saying that it really has no application at all well, Cambodia, well, sorry, Cambodia, Cambodia has actually looked at Venezuela and really looked at them as gold and seeing what else they can do to make their, cur their currency and country better. So it looks like the Cambodia crypto project will be named en Interpay and is expected to be proposed at the blockchain summit of South Asia, South Asia's national and its capital, so Phan Phen on Wednesday, which will be attended by the country's Deputy Prime Minister, Man San An. So really interested to see also how this is going to go. As we can see that Cambodia is fol following Venezuela, which other countries are going to be following this national cryptocurrency trend? You know, will we see some other, you know, countries out there in Asia or maybe in less developed countries? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. So what else is new? Well, auto giant behind Mercedes-Benz launching crypto coin to launch eco-friendly driving. So as you know, eco-friendly driving, a lot of people were complaining about the carbon emissions that we are seeing in the world. And that's why Tesla is really having its massive break right now because a lot of people are seeing like, you know, electric cars are the future and so forth like this. Well, this, this German headquartered car manufacturer giant known as Daimler AG, famous for its Mercedes-Benz and smart brands, presented its own blockchain-based digital currency called MobiCoin. The Mobile World at the Mobile Wo sorry at the Mobile World Congress in 2018 in Barcelona. So, Coin Telegraph reported this on March the 5th. The project, which started in February 2018, was created to reward drivers for environmentally friendly driving habits, etc. So an example for this is smooth and safe driving at low speeds. The project will be testing phases for the next three months during which 500 drivers will follow eco-friendly driving practices and will be rewarded with Moby coins. So I find this a very interesting concept. It's not really focusing too much on an electric, um, sorry, an electricity standpoint, like kind of like how Tesla is by removing fuel altogether, but it's rewarding drivers for actually not being, you know, dicks on the road, you know, by actually following the right rules and not, you know, flooring it every time, every second they get, and in return, they get this Moby coin. 
Not really sure what else the application for this is, but I do know they are making some massive updates. So we can see that you know BMW and all of these car manufacturers are also getting more involved. We can see that Porsche is also in use. So who which car company are we going to see next? Are we going to see Lamborghini? Are we going to see you know Tesla? I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. So Japan is also the news today. So Japan's financial giant S SBI buys 40% off Taiwanese cryptocurrency hardware uh, company. So Japanese financial service group known as SBI Holdings has bought 40% of Taiwanese cryptocurrency hardware wallet known as Coolbit X, according to a press release published on March the 2nd. And its later venture in SBI increasing its envi involvement with both the cryptocurrency and blockchain industries. The financial giant made an undisclosed investment, which transferred almost half of Coolbit X to its ownership. So it looks like SBI Holdings is making some massive moves out there. Really interested to also see what other hardware wallet companies they will also buy. Like, will they buy Ledger? I highly doubt they will buy Ledger, but I think Ledger is an awesome company. So. I'm not really sure what new innovation we will see in the hardware landscape, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. And if you guys are interested in the Ledger, I'll leave a link to that listed below. As you know, we just did a video reviewing the Ledger versus the Trezor, and I thought this would be a good way to showcase it. But I haven't really looked too well into Cool Wallet S, but I'll definitely have a look at it more in detail shortly. So that is it today guys, let's head over to Twitter and let's see what new updates we have. We have this update from Electronium and they go on to say it's day 2 of a mobile miner launch and we're almost 50,000 users already. Like wow guys, 50,000 users in such a short amount of time. We're starting to discover what mobile equipment is capable of this, I've decided to increase the payout for mobile miners by 300%. So if you guys are using Electronium or if you guys are following Electronium and you guys have an Android phone, I'd Definitely recommend you guys downloading this app and testing out their mobile miner. And as you can see, please be very careful if there is any fake, you know, people out here giving away, you know, free coins and stuff like this. For instance, this I believe is spelt wrong, as you can see. Um, do not give out your information by any means. Stella also has an update today. It's Stella's monthly roundup for February is live. You guys can check it out here. And as you can see, this was just posted a couple of hours ago. So you guys can check it out by clicking this link over here. Dash is also in the news today. Monthly community update from Dash Pay course team. So if you guys are wondering what Dash is doing right now, you guys can have a look at this link below here. And check it out on their Twitter. They're making some massive updates for this year. But again, please be very careful with these fake news um, that we are seeing on Twitter. There's nothing really here. But on other, uh, t on other Twitter accounts, you know, in the replies, they will be giving some giveaway or asking for private keys or any type of information. I urge you guys to be very careful, especially on Twitter and all the other social networks. No one out there will really ask for any of your private keys or any type of that information unless it's a legit legitimate, you know, giveaway and you want it, then of course they would need your, your contact details in order to send you whatever you want. But aside from that, Really guys, be really careful out there. You don't want to lose your hard earned money. And that is it today guys. If you guys are new here, be sure to follow us on Twitter at AllCoinBuzzIO. We're constantly posting updates on here. And as you can see, 2 hours ago, 15 hours ago, we are posting non-stop. We're also on Instagram at AllCoinBuzz. And as you can see, we're also posting here quite a lot. We also have an AllCoinBuzz podcast where we review and interview the top cryptocurrency influencers and cryptocurrencies in the space giving you the answers that you guys want we're also on the google the google app store the google play store we're just all over the place we also have a facebook group the all coin buzz army on telegram discord and all over the place so i'll leave a link to everything linked below that way you guys can check it out and you know let us know what you guys are doing in the market but right now my question for you guys is which company, which car company do you think will be the next to follow suit with blockchain? So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about that. And if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Turn on post notifications and check out those links that I leave below. And that is it today, guys. I will catch you guys on the next video.